Hey everybody, welcome back to JOJ. It is September 10th, and I hope you all caught our live last week, and happy birthday to my dad again yeah. last Sunday. Yeah, so last Sunday. Just mention that again. Um, 85. Really? Is he 85 this year? 85. Oh. Yep. Yep, so huh. pretty pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> that's what we were talking about, because last week was his birthday. Mm -hmm. At this point, next week is my birthday. Um, two weeks apart and 47 years. <laughs> we were talking about how, how I couldn't imagine in 10 years, nine years from now, having a child. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> you, you want to have another baby in about 10 years? No. No? Absolutely okay. not. Okay, good. I'm glad I don't want to think that. about how old our kids will be in 10 years. Yeah. You don't want me to cry this whole episode, do <laughs> yeah. you? Let's not do that. Okay, let's, let's move, move on. on. <laughs> so the topic of this week is a worthy focus. And the verse comes from Hebrews 12, verses 1 and 2. The verse I really, really like right here. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. It's hard to believe the average attention span can be as short as eight seconds. If someone's <laughs> cell phone rings, we hear it, but then move our attention quickly on. When it comes to sustained attention, staying on task to accomplish goals, most people stay focused for about 20 minutes. We can then choose repeatedly f to repeatedly f refocus on that same task. So with scores of distractions in our busy schedules, how do we stay focused on God? One way is daily devoting time to spend with God by reading His Word and praying. Have you ever attended a church camp or retreat that stirred you to repent and set spiritual goals? Unfortunately, we can get distracted by our daily routines and responsibilities and forget those goals soon after we've returned home. But if we commit to meeting with God each day, we can stay focused on Him and on the spiritual goals we've made. Let's not be out of sight, out of mind Christians. Continually refocus on God by spending time daily in His Word and in prayer. It's a focus worth repeating. And then the quote is, Turn your focus to God's love. And that's from Rick Warren. That's who, uh, who that quote is from. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I kind of feel like this is... Um, we've had kind of this topic a little bit repeatedly like you know kind of mm -hmm. maybe even once a month yeah <laughs> you know there's there's always something it's worded different mm -hmm. titled different but it it all goes back to you know spending, spending time, time mm -hmm. in god's word and focusing ourselves um maybe because you know. i know our attention span is pretty short i know that's what i was thinking i mean <laughs> eight sec i mean I, I feel like eight seconds i feel like i make it more than eight seconds but I used to be really good at it, and then I have really, really went downhill. <laughs> of, I mean, I have a list for everything, and I make a list for the list, the list of things I need to put on the list. Yeah. And then usually the lists are categorized by what's most important because I'll get distracted by something on the bottom that really need to be done today. It's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. And um, then she'll forget where she left the list. I do that too. So, because I, I I put it on my phone now. Like I forced myself to learn my phone. Yeah. To you know to put it on there. But like I like a paper list. I go to the grocery store. I have a paper list. I like to be able to mark it off. Yeah. Maybe I need to get you get you a pen for your phone, and then you can like mark it on either, either way. Mm -hmm. um, so see, we've already lost our attention. Exactly. Spot already on, on gone. What we're, what we're focused on. <laughs> um, the thing that kind of came to me was, you know, it says sustained. You know, sustained focus is considered is considered twenty minutes. In my in my job, would you say fishing like I do? I mean, obviously, it's a seven and a half hour competition day. You know, of the way am I am I focused on the whole task for the whole time, or am I focused on as each cast its own task? And so I only have to stay focused for about twenty seconds because I make about three casts a minute. I think it's a little both because I think you have to be focused in the moment because of changing because you have to consider, you know, everything on the water. Yeah. So you've got to consider conditions and current and where you're at and weather and all the blah, stuff. Blah, blah. Yeah. But you also have to stay focused on the big goal, which is probably making a cut or, you right. know, winning whatever. Like, so it's kind of a, a focus inside of a focus. So, and, and I, and like you do good to tune out everything and to, right. you are good at focusing on what you have to focus on. Yeah. And that's, to, to me, that, it, I wanted to ask you to get your thought on it because I, I do, I disagree. 
I focus on each cast. Like I'm not worried about the the one after this one. I don't I, like. I try not to even think about where that one's going to be. Hmm. I, I, and I I do it. I'm like, man, there'll be times throughout the day where it'll come to my mind. Hey, you need to you need to get this high. You need to catch that much. You make the cut. Blah blah blah. Those those things enter my mind. But for me, it is literally where's the next cast going to go. That that's that truly is. That's where I try to stay. Yeah. You know, there, there are times when it when it changes, but um, but I, and I think that that for me that that's that is me. Mm-hmm. I compartmentalize. Yes. That's the way I do things. Um, you know, so it, and it's I feel like a lot of the same. That's why I, when I wake up in the morning, my goal number one is to. I mean, the way I try to do it, I'll read my verse on my phone. Then I'm going to read this. Oh, uh oh. And hopefully not dump everything out of it. <laughs> but. Uh, I, I do that to try to to try to have that routine because if I get out of that routine, the chance of me getting back to it is pretty slim. Mm-hmm. That's why I can't get up, brush my teeth, make a cup of coffee, what it, like do all these other things, and then, then I'll find my way back to it. If I don't do it, boom, 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 then I'm not probably gonna not happen. gonna. It's probably not gonna get done. Yep, that's for me. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not sure where to go from there. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it's, it is like, I, you know, it's like you said, you have to be boom, boom, boom. But for me, it's like, I can't focus if yeah. my eyeballs can't be open. Right. Like, I can't wake up and then immediately just be like, like, I like to see what time it is on my phone. And I'm pretty bad about, like, if there's any important emails, because I immediately be like, oh, is there something I'm going to be in my emails that I have to go get done today or that I didn't do yesterday? Yeah. Um, you know, because it, it's, it's, it's just always something. I think with our jobs, it's because it's always changing and always random. Like, it's very rare that it's a routine day. Routine, like, mm-hmm. you know, we could get wake up one day and have three different emails of we need a video, this picture, that, you know, we got to post this, is this scheduled? Like, it's just, it can snowball really quickly. <laughs> And sometimes we're really bad at it being squirrels and just, you know, yeah. oh, we didn't do any of that. So we probably better go do that right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it's easy to let the world completely distract us. But I feel like I do a, a decent, pretty good job because, I mean, I'm <laughs> we're home for sure. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get coffee. <laughs> and so it's kind of like I get coffee, I get my book, yeah. and, you know, sit in the yeah. recliner on the back porch, you know, depending on if it's nice or bugs are out yet. Um, you know, like that to me that goes your, hand in hand. That's your, that's your routine. That's yes. Your, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think definitely focusing on starting your routine mm-hmm. and, you know, sticking with it because it's so true. Once you get out of it, you're out of it and it's hard to go back yeah no doubt and that was Mm -hmm. like with with what we've been doing this year this has been a good uh, you know a good routine for me it's and and your routine has Mm -hmm. worked worked well for you last year reading the bible reading through it in a year i always did that at night i I mean that's (laughs) (laughs) well but but for me because it it was a larger time Mm -hmm. commitment you know this is a couple minutes five Mm -hmm. minutes or something that you're you know you can get through this and and for me in the morning that's that works well Mm -hmm. i wasn't devoted enough on the amount of time that i was going to set my alarm for 30 minutes earlier (laughs) to get up to to read through the the amount of scripture that i needed to so i would always uh, instead of scrolling on my phone for 20 or 30 minutes at night i would lay that down and i would pick up my bible and i would read through that section of the the day Mm -hmm. for the on the one year bible and that was for me that was just that was the routine that i got into that worked well for doing that Mm -hmm. so it is that everybody's everybody's you know everybody's different your your when you can focus how you can focus those kind of things Mm -hmm. but finding that routine that works for you that you will devote the time and spend the time in god's word is absolutely important so and and in prayer as well yeah prayer is definitely a big part of that so Uh, thank y'all for watching this week and we will catch you here next week and somebody be older finally the same age finally be the same age as you again so we'll see you then Mm -hmm.